good garden. It is a lovely sunny day. Children, today we are having our lesson outside in the playgroup garden. <laughs> this is the playgroup garden. All the children are growing plants. Peppa, what are you growing? A sunflower. This is my sunflower. And Penny Polar Bear, you've got a sunflower too. Yes. Oh, I wonder which sunflower is the tallest. Mine. No, mine. 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 Oh, oh, my <laughs> calm down, mine. children. So, Madame Gazelle, which sunflower is tallest? Oh, uh, all of them are lovely. But which is tallest? Uh, uh, they are, uh, equally tall. Oh. oh. Rebecca Rabbit, what are you growing? Carrots! Super! Carrots are my favourite! <laughs> and Mandy Mouse, what is your favourite? Cheese! Oh, my goodness! You've managed to grow cheese? No, you can't grow cheese. This is from a shop. Oh, yes, of course. I have grown little tomatoes to eat with my cheese. Well done. Those tomatoes look very tasty. Mmm! <laughs> and Susie Sheep, what are you growing? A pumpkin for Halloween. Oh, I see. But it's titchy tiny. Well, Halloween is a long time away. There is time for your pumpkin to grow. But I've been watching it today and I can't see it growing. Yes, plants grow slowly. Maybe some water might help? OK. Let's all water our plants. Plants like water. Very good, children. And after all that hard work, now it is playtime. Hooray! As we are in the garden, Today's playtime will be in the wild wood. Oh, I love the wild wood. <laughs> this is the wild wood. It has two trees. Lots of wild animals live here. Ah! Butterflies, ladybirds. So sweet. Even frogs. Rabbits. <laughs> yes, the wild wood is a very special place. Let's play hide and seek. One, two, three, four, five. There are not many places to hide in a wood with two trees. Nine, ten. Coming. Ready or not. I wonder where can they be? They are not here. And they are not here. Boom! Oh, oh, oh. Here we are, Madam Gazelle. Oh, oh, oh. What a surprise! <laughs> <laughs> okay, playtime is over. Now it is back to work. Yes, Madam Gazelle. Gardening is very hard work, but also lots of fun. Madam Gazelle, my pumpkin still isn't big. Well, some people say that talking to plants helps them grow. Really? Yes. All the plants would enjoy a bit of talking to. Hello, Sunflower. I hope you are happy today. I love you, Carrots. Grow. Grow. Grow! Right. And I'm sure the plants would like it if we sang them a song. Can we do the Bing Bong song? <laughs> Why not? We water the plants and we sing them a song with a bing and a bong and a bing bong bing boo bing bong bing bing bong 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 The children love the playgroup garden. Everyone loves the playgroup garden. Pepper and her friends are at playgroup. Children, today we are going to do drawings of our families. Ooh. This is me. I live on my own in a very tall house. Sometimes my two sisters come to visit. And we play music. Greta plays bass. Gretel plays drums. And I play 
play guitar. We rock. That is my family. Now it is your turn. <laughs> this is me, Susie Sheep. I live with my mummy. She likes to push me on the swing. <laughs> Higher, mummy! Higher! <laughs> and that is my family. I am Mandy Mouse. Here is me with Mummy and Daddy. We like playing in the park. To you, Mandy. <laughs> to you, Daddy. <laughs> yes, everyone likes playing in the park. Who's next? Me. What a lovely drawing, Pedro. This is Mummy and Daddy and me, Pedro Pony. I have glasses. Daddy has glasses. Mummy has contact lenses. Amazing. How about the panda twins? Pandora and Peggy are doing their drawing together. Daddy is a police officer. And Mummy is a firefighter. Sometimes Daddy drives us in his police car. Daddy, can we do the siren? Yes, please, can we do the siren? Now, girls, you know the siren is only for emergencies. Please! please. Oh, all right then. <laughs> Super! And Danny Dog? My Daddy is a sea captain. He has adventures on his boat. But now Daddy has come home to me and Mummy and he won't go back to sea ever, ever, ever again. <laughs> what a wonderful adventure. Who's next? I'm Penny Polar Bear. I live with my Mummy and my other Mummy. One Mummy is a doctor and one Mummy cooks spaghetti. I love spaghetti. Lovely, Penny. And Freddy Fox? My dad has a van. It has everything in the world inside it. In packs of five. <laughs> Super. And Rebecca? This is me with Mummy, Daddy, Richard, Rosie and Bobby. We live in a hill. Sometimes my auntie Miss Rabbit visits. Oh, it's nice to have a break from all my jobs. A rescue service, please. I'm stuck up a mountain and I need rescuing. Oh, Dad, not again. OK, I'm on my way. Miss Rabbit is always busy because she does all the jobs in the world. Yes, what would we do without Miss Rabbit? Who's next? I am Peppa Pig and this is Mummy and Daddy and my little brother George. George thinks his toy dinosaur is scary. <coughs> it is not scary, but if I don't play, he cries. <coughs> It's hard work having a little brother. <laughs> the parents are here to collect the children. Hello. Hello, mummies and daddies. Come and find yourself on our wall. Oh, is that me? Yes, mummy. And that's you, daddy. Oh, oh, it looks exactly like me. Yes, what wonderful drawings of the families. I love families. Peppa loves families. Everyone loves families. Pigs. Peppa is at playgroup with her friends. Today, children, I would like to show you my pet guinea pigs. Aww. They're so cute. This is Ginger. He is very clever. Aww. And this is Brian. He is very sensitive. Aww. Now, children, I am going on holiday next week and I need to find someone to look after Ginger and Brian. Me! Me! me. It's a bit of work and you will need to take them home. Me! Me! I will do it! Are you sure, Peppa? Yes! I love animals! <laughs> Thank you, Peppa. It is home time. Mummy, Mummy! Look what I've got! Oh, what's that? Ginger and Brian. Peppa?
Peppa has very kindly agreed to look after my guinea pigs for the week. I see. Everything you need is here. Right. I suppose they're easy to look after. Oh, yes. This chart shows when they need feeding and when they are to be brushed. Brushed? Yes, they like to be brushed at these times each day. I see. And one brush in the middle of the night. Anything else? They do get lonely, so you must sleep in the same room as them. Okay. Don't worry, Madam Gazelle. We will look after Ginger and Brian. Thank you, Peppa. Bye-bye. Bye. Ginger and Brian have arrived at Peppa's home. <laughs> Hello. This is Madam Gazelle. I forgot. You need hay for the guinea pigs. But you can buy it from the pet shop. OK. Thank you, Madam Gazelle. Goodbye. What's that? Um, the guinea pigs need hay from the pet shop. Right. Who wants to come to the pet shop? Me! Me! <laughs> See you later. This is the pet shop. Hello, Peppa. Hello, Miss Rabbit. I'm looking after Madame Gazelle's guinea pigs. Oh, yes. Ginger is the clever one and Brian is sensitive. Apparently, we need hay. Well, there is standard hay, premium hay, or super premium deluxe hay. Super premium deluxe hay? Yes, it is more money, but that's the one Ginger and Brian like. It is bedtime at Peppa's house. Are you happy, Ginger and Brian? They have had food, water and very expensive hay. I don't think they could be any happier. Madame Gazelle said they get lonely. Yes, so I will be sleeping here to make sure they don't get lonely. And to brush them in the night time? Yes, Peppa. Brush them in the night time. Night, night. It is the middle of the night. Ooh. Hello. Daddy Pig here. Hello. This is Madame Gazelle. I just thought I would ring to remind you about the brushing. Yes, we're brushing them now. What? Who? Oh, oh, yes. Ah, very good. I do hope they are no trouble. They're no trouble at all. <laughs> Peppa and George have been looking after Ginger and Brian all week. They are so adorable. <laughs> here is Madame Gazelle. Madame Gazelle, you're back from your holiday. Yes, I came straight from the airport. How are Ginger and Brian? They are very happy. <laughs> oh, good. Thank you, Peppa, for all your hard work looking after them. It was easy. Would you like to look after them the next time I go on holiday? Ooh. Uh... Uh... Yes, please. <laughs> Peppa loves looking after guinea pigs. Everyone loves looking after guinea pigs. Club. Today, Pepper and her friends have come to the Woodland Club. Mr Wolf is in charge. Children, please come to the middle. Mummies and daddies, please stand back and watch. <laughs> now, children, I know all about living in the woods. I was born in the woods and I was raised by a family of wolves. Today, I will teach you how to look after yourselves out here in the wild. Wow! Imagine you're on your own, far from home, no one else around. <coughs> oh, sorry. Carry on. No one else around. What do you do if it starts to rain? Get wet. Ah, but what if you don't want to get wet? Go home. But remember, you are far from home. I've got an umbrella. Y yes, all right. But sometimes the only thing to keep you warm and dry in the woods is a shelter. Ooh. It's like a little house. It'll keep out the rain. And it will keep you warm from the wind. You make a shelter using sticks and other stuff found in the woods. Wow! Who wants to try? Me! Me! me. Off you go, then. <laughs> Here are some sticks. <laughs> this leaf can be the flag. It's finished. 
Well done. OK, who would like to test the shelter? I will. Are you warm and cosy in there, Mr Pig? Oh, oh, yes! I like my little house of sticks. Good. Let's see if your little house keeps out the rain. Ah! The water goes straight through the roof. I'm getting wet. <laughs> Did the house keep out the rain? No! Let's see if the house keeps out the wind. I will huff and I will puff and I will blow your house down. <gasps> Oh. Daddy Pig's house is gone. Oh, dear. Maybe the children should have used bricks. A brick house would be good, Mr Pig. But there aren't any bricks to be found in the woods. Only sticks and leaves. But we've tried sticks and leaves. We're going to have another go. First, collect big sticks, like this one. Off you go. <laughs> Here's a big stick. Here's a bigger stick. Here's the biggest stick in the world. Very good. Let's have that big stick here. Lay your sticks along here. Now we need little sticks to go over the roof. <laughs> little sticks. Teeny sticks. Itsy witsy ickle sticks. Use the little sticks like this. <laughs> Is it finished? Nearly. We just need lots and lots of leaves. Leaves! <laughs> lots of leaves! Loads of leaves! Bundles and jumbles of leaves! <laughs> <laughs> wow! It's a cosy house now! It certainly is. Daddy Pig, please go inside. Um, maybe somebody else should have all the fun of testing it this time. Me! Are you ready, children? Yes! First, the rain. Is the rain coming in? No! <laughs> now the wind. I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house down. <gasps> Did you feel the wind? No! The little house is very strong. So that, children, is how you build a shelter in the woods. Hooray! Oh, it's raining. All the grown-ups are getting wet. But Pepper and her friends are lovely and dry in their little house. This is fun! Pepper loves the Woodland Club. Everybody loves the Woodland Club. Parachute games. It is a lovely sunny day at Playgroup. Pepper and her friends are hard at work painting pictures. I'm painting a tree with all the leaves. I'm painting a rainbow with all the colours. What wonderful paintings, children! You have worked hard, so now it's time for play. Hooray! <laughs> <laughs> Look what I have. It's a rainbow parachute. And we are going to play games with it. Ooh! First, I want the little ones to hold the parachute edge. George, Richard, Edmund, Zuzu and Zaza are holding onto the parachute. And give it a wiggle like this. Wiggle, wiggle. Look at the way the parachute moves. It is like the sea. Imagine a little boat sailing on that sea. The boat bobs up. The boat bobs down. I will put this little toy boat on our sea. The boat bobs up. The boat bobs down. The boat bobs up. The boat bobs down. A bobby bobby bobbing, bobbing around. The boat bobs up and down. And the little boat sails away. Say bye bye to the boat. Bye bye. Okay. Now it is the turn of the big children. <laughs> Pepper and her friends are holding the parachute. Imagine a flying saucer. I'm a flying saucer. I spin through space. Together we are going to turn this parachute into a flying saucer. On the count of three, we lift the parachute up and then let go. Are you ready? Yes, Madame Gazelle. One, two. Three and lift! Up, up, up! And let go! Wow! The 
parachute looks like a flying saucer. I'm a flying saucer, I spin through space. I spin and I spin and I spin all day. I spin and I spin and I spin, and I spin all day. It really is spinning! Wow! How does it do that? If you want the full explanation, I could set aside time to go through it later. Yes, thank you, Edmund. Edmund Elephant is very, very clever. <laughs> now everyone hold the parachute. <laughs> All of the children are holding the parachute. Imagine a cooking pot with corn popping. I will use ping pong balls for the corn. What happens now? Well, now the pot gets hotter and the corn is ready to pop. It is home time and the parents have come to collect the children. Wow! You're playing parachute games. Oh, I loved playing parachute games when I was little. My favourite was the rainbow game. Well, we could all play the rainbow game. Yes, please! <laughs> Everyone is holding the parachute. Lift the parachute up, up, up. Now step in and pull down. <laughs> Everyone is inside the rainbow parachute. Oh, it's just like we are inside a rainbow. It's brilliant. I wonder how it stays up like this. I'm very glad you asked. In simple terms, it's a rainy sunny day. The rainbow's here today. Rainbow, rainbow. Red and orange and yellow and green and purple and blue. Rainbow, rainbow. It's a rainy sunny day. It's the best rainbow Pepper loves parachute games. Everybody loves parachute games. The Big Hill. Today, Pepper and her family are going for a walk in the countryside. What a lovely day. Perfect for walking. <laughs> Aha! Here's a sign showing all the ways we can go. So which way do we go? You choose, Pepper. Um, let's go... That way. That way leads up a big hill. That is a big hill. What's at the top of the hill? Well, as it's such a big hill, there's probably something amazing at the top. I want to see the something amazing. Are you sure you want to climb all the way to the top, Pepper? Yes. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> Pepper and George are climbing the big hill. Mummy and Daddy Pig are climbing the big hill. Phew! My legs are tired already. Oh, I knew it wouldn't be easy. Yay! The top! We did it! Hooray! I don't think this is the top. Look, the hill carries on. Yes, that wasn't the top because it didn't have the something amazing. <laughs> Do you really think there will be something amazing at the top, Daddy Pig? Well, there's got to be a cafe or something. A cafe? <coughs> Brilliant! That will keep me going. <gasps> Nearly there, George! It is hard work climbing the big hill. Oh, I can't wait to get to the cafe. Um, when I said there's got to be a cafe at the top, I should have added there's a chance there won't be any. Hello there! It is Miss Rabbit's cafe. Amazing. What can I get you? Coffee for Daddy Pig and me and juices for Pepper and George. Of course. Thank you. Thank you. Mm. This is just what I needed. Yes. It really was worth climbing to the top. Oh, this isn't the top. What? No, you have to keep going up. That way. OK, we've got this far, so we have to keep going. Onward and upward. <laughs> <gasps> Mummy, why did they make hills so big? Oh, I don't know, Peppa. I hope <gasps> the amazing thing at the top is amazing. Yay! 
Yes, I hope so too. Oh, it's all gone foggy. Oh, I think we're in the clouds. We must be near the top. It's getting flat. I think this is it. We made it. Hooray! Hooray! Wow, I can see the whole world. Look, there's the playground. <laughs> I can see the supermarket. And there is Susie. <laughs> I told you it would be amazing at the top. It is amazing. <laughs> now all we have to do is climb down. Well, going downhill is a lot easier than going up. Come on, George. <laughs> Let's roll a bit. Whee! Whee! Pepper and George love rolling down hills. <laughs> that looks fun. Can you roll, Daddy? I think if I started rolling down, Pepper, I might not be able to stop. <laughs> Daddy Pig has tripped on a mushroom. Ah! Ah! Wait for us, Daddy Pig. <laughs> <laughs> Rolling down was really fun. Can we climb up the hill and do it again? Of course, but maybe we'll save that for another day. Yes, the big hill will always be here. Oh, goody. <laughs> Peppa loves the big hill. Everybody loves the big hill. <laughs> Weather station. Pepper and her friends are at playgroup today. Good morning, children. Today we are going to learn about the weather. Ooh. There are all kinds of weather: sun, rain, wind, snow. I like sunny weather the best. Then we can go to the beach. Oh yes, Mandy. A sunny day at the beach sounds very nice. <laughs> I like it when it's windy. Then you can fly a kite. <laughs> yes, it needs to be windy to fly a kite. Anyone else? Madame Gazelle. Yes, Penny Polar Bear. I like snow the best. Then we can go sledding. Go! Penny Polar Bear loves snow. Go! Snow is such fun. I like rain. And what do you like about rain, Pepper? Rain makes muddy puddles for jumping up and down in. <laughs> yes, we do need rain for puddles. Now, as the weather happens outside, today's lesson will be outside. <laughs> Children, look what I've made. What is it? It is our very own weather station. Wow! What does it do? I will show you. At the moment, the sun is shining in the sky. Mandy Mouse, please turn the arrow to point at the sun. OK. The weather station is showing it is sunny. And this thermometer has coloured liquid that goes up and down and tells us exactly how sunny and hot it is today. Wow! So, how hot does this thermo thingy say it is? It says today is, um, nice and warm. It's getting windy, really windy. Can I move the arrow? Of course, Benny. The weather station is showing it is windy. And to see exactly how windy it is, we have this. It is made of sticks and old plastic cups. Ooh! So, how windy does it say it is? It says it is, um, very windy. Ah! Ah! It's starting to rain! We're getting wet! Don't worry, children. I have brought the big umbrella. The big umbrella! <laughs> that is a big umbrella. Now? We can stay nice and dry and watch the rain. Madame Gazelle, can I read the arrow this time? Of course, Peppa. The weather station is showing rain. 
Could somebody hold the umbrella for me, please? Thank you. Now we will use this rain bottle. It is made out of an old plastic bottle cut in half. Then put back together like this. There. The rain bottle is filling up with water. Ooh. The rain has stopped. Look, you can see how much it has rained. So how much has it rained? The bottle is full. So that means it has rained, um, a lot. And lots of rain means lots of... Muddy puddles! <laughs> <laughs> oh, what a good day for our weather station. We've had sun, wind and rain. But we didn't have snow. Oh, I think it would be too much to wish for snow as well. Oh! What's that? Snow! <laughs> it has started to snow. That is unbelievable! I'll move the arrow. The weather station is showing snow. I love sun, wind, rain and snow. Peppa <laughs> loves the weather. <laughs> Everyone loves the weather. <laughs> 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 